Veteran leftist Jean-Luc Mélenchon has emerged as the face of France's progressive politics. The hard-left politician narrowly missed out on a place in the final round of the 2022 presidential election. He was one of six left-leaning candidates, including the Greens, the Communists and the once all-powerful Socialists. In total, less than a third of the French voted for a progressive. After the results, Mélenchon's followers blamed the other parties for taking precious votes away from their candidate. Despite the outcome, he insists the fight is far from over. I'm asking the French people to elect me as their prime minister by voting for a majority of MPs from the France Unbound Party and our popular union group. There is a third round to come, not only a second round, but also a third. The third round Mélenchon is referring to is the parliamentary elections in June. His France Unbowed party has called on politicians to join a left-wing coalition. That way, he hopes to win enough seats in the National Assembly to force a power-sharing cohabitation government. France's last cohabitation government dates back to 1997. Centre-right President Jacques Chirac had to work with socialist premier Lionel Jospin. Jean-Luc Mélenchon himself was a junior minister in that government, representing the left wing of the Socialist Party. But in 2008, he quit his political family to create a more radical movement that's been growing ever since. Despite uh, socialist François Hollande's election in 2012, the party remained split between proponents of a leftist agenda and those in favour of pro-business labour reforms. The brand has been damaged. And, you know, it's not just a popular voter that they don't attract. They don't attract anybody anymore. The man Hollande picked to help him with some of the most uh, controversial reforms was Emmanuel Macron. The young minister would later create his own centrist party. In 2017, he successfully ran for office, sweeping up much of the social democratic vote. Since then, the socialists have been edged out by Macron on the right and Mélenchon on the left, reaching a historic low of less than 2% on April 10th. The coming weeks will show if the fractured parties of the left can put aside their differences and unite.